All right, guys, welcome to another amazing edition of Max Stories. And you know, on Max Stories, we bring you exceptional Nigerians who are doing exceptional things in their industry. And today, on the show, we are bringing you someone who has come to make a mark in the industry of music directing. And I'm talking about none other than T.G. Omori, a.k.a. Boy Director. How far now? Adieu, How's it going? Let's start from the Boy Director. What was the idea? Why did you call yourself Boy Director? Um, boy Director is, is like a movement. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I started directing when I was, a, when I was quite young. Oh, Like nice. about something. So it was like Boy Director, Boy Director. So I'm using that movement to also tell other youngins that, yo, it's mm. possible to start this direct. This directing thing is not like an old man profession. Mm -hmm. Boy, to get direct. How did it start for you? Um, okay, professionally, I started directing in 2015. Okay. Yeah, but like, as I said, I started directing when I was going to, that was way back before now. So, but when I took on my first major video, it was like in 2015. So basically now it's, it's just like everybody got to understand that, yo, there's, there's a difference somewhere. Mm. So everybody just tripping in and I'm mm. trying to keep a balance. I'm trying not to run out of ideas. Mm. I'm trying to always make every video different, every video stand out. Mm. Yeah, so basically, mm. it's been crazy. And you know, when you're trying not to be like everybody, everybody. Yeah. you have to do what everybody's not doing. Mm. And it's a serious grind. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. So Definitely. It's, it's actually been hectic. Looking at, at the Cover. industry you're in, it's okay. quite competitive. You have mm -hmm. directors that have been doing this yes. before you came in and yeah. they're still doing it. Yeah. And like you said, to make a mark, you have to do it differently. Mm -hmm. What is that thing that you do that you can say, oh, this is only, I'm the only one who does this in my videos. This is the only style that I know that it's, 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 you can identify with me. So what's that thing that you do that makes you stand out? Um, I think my art direction. Okay. Um, I, I have this very crazy eye for art, this very crazy taste for art, African art. So like I'm trying to imbibe the international urban lifestyle to mm -hmm. the African culture. Okay, so anytime you see my videos, you it, you understand that Africans are happy people. There's True. life in Africa. You get this. I tweeted sometime, I said, I'm not trying to take Africa to the world. I'm trying to bring, bring the world to Africa. Mm. Yeah, so I want to, uh, people always feel, ha I try to make people happy with who we are, mm. our culture mm. and our urban lifestyle. Mm. You get me? So mm. basically this is, this is something to find in my video. Nice, nice. Because I usually see that from the videos you do, you're very colorful. Yeah. It exactly. seems you like to play with colors a yeah. lot. Were you uh, ever into fine art or you know, those kind of, that yeah. aspect of life I did, before. I did performing arts. Performing, performing arts, arts. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. And, I mean, all my life in secondary school, mm -hmm. I've been an art student. Okay. Yeah. So, I always, I'm always art inclined. Anything I pass, it, there's a video I did for King Perry. Okay. And we had, like, 20 ladies on August meeting, rapper, and yes. gay with yes. sneakers. Yeah. These are things I grew up seeing my parents do. Okay. Like, I'm that kind of person that, Everything from my childhood, everything I see speaks a lot to me. Mm. I feel like sometimes I see on Saturday, you see all these outside guys wearing that bandana sneakers. I wear sneakers, yeah. But when time I see that it's <laughs> trippy, I'd be like, yo, mm. how ca if I imbibe this in a video, mm -hmm. it's going to be a lifestyle. Like, make this look like this is swag, this is Africa, appreciate us, we are not stupid, mm -hmm. it's just a lifestyle. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to sell African lifestyle to them. Hmm. It's it's fun being doing this. Do you understand? So it's a whole different ball game. Trust me. This 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 thing you are doing or this angle at which you're taking it from. Didn't you think that ah, everybody's used to this certain kind? Would you be able to break into the industry with this your new ideas and new focus? Would you? Were, were you not scared? I was, I was never scared. <laughs> <laughs> I can never be scared. Ah, I like that. Yeah, like <laughs> I I feel like. I was never scared, I was just focused on trying to make, have taste for good quality. So if you have taste for that good quality, anything you do is going to come to life. You get me? So it's just, I was never scared. I just knew that if you grind harder, understand, understand the business, know what the people want, and just create the balance, trust me. So would you, as a director, would you say your equipment will determine the outcome of your video or 
your creativity with whatever equipment you have yeah. can determine the outcome of your video. Because people say if it's not red, Baba, and they shoot. you know, go exactly, yeah, I know shoot. I get you. Yeah. Nah, so it's tell not, us. Nah. It's, it's never like that. Sometimes, yeah, there are some videos that are just, you, you are just there for the content, not for the quality, not for the picture quality. Okay. Some of the best videos of all time. But trust me, if you want to do something that will last, that will stand the hands of time, you have to come with top quality. That's why I still watch. That's why I think I think one of my favorite videos of all time, Michael Jackson. All I want to say is that yeah, yeah, okay, okay. See now the quality is still good. Okay. You understand? You understand that yo, this is a project. You understand? Filmmaking is not a joking stuff. True. True. <laughs> but not. at the same time, creativity does. It does not. The camera does not bring paint what is in front of the video. Mm. The camera is just a stupid tool. Is what you put in front of it that you get. Mm. You get me? I know some people that shoot with red and it still doesn't come out nice. Art direction is number one, not the equipment. You mm. must have, you must know how to place a subject, your composition, your storyline. Yeah. Everything comes together. The equipment is just, you can still do that with an iPhone. Yeah. And if you hold it very well, it's going to be one of the best video ever. If a content is very, very interesting, yeah. people forget about how it looks. That just focused on what they're saying, that glued with that they even forget that the picture quality is not so sharp. Mm. But trust me, picture quality makes your work stand the hands of time. It makes people appreciate you, it makes people respect your craft because they know that this is serious business. You get no matter how good the content is, if the picture quality is shitty, it looks like a joke. It looks like a joke. You mm. get me? Yeah. Now let even let's let's talk a bit about what you've done so far. Yeah. Uh, can you remember the first major video? The first big video of a first big artist, artist. video. Yeah. Okay, um, Rude Boy. Rude Boy. If I uh, um, I shut down Seashell, that was the last year. Okay. But it was it did not really put me out see, until um, Am I Your Boy? Yeah. Mm, that was yeah. the one that put you out yeah. there. And people and, like, who's yeah, this guy? Who's this guy? Yeah. Okay, so now looking at that now and seeing the other videos that you've put out now, looking at you working with top uh, mm -hmm. Nigerian artists. How, uh, who would you say has been the most difficult or tasking, the most tasking video you have done so far? <laughs> the thing is, yeah, um, for some reason, most of the artists I work with, yeah, I always, they already like me because I'm a vibe person, okay. So most of them already like me, okay. They are willing to let me do my thing, they believe in the craft to get mm. so it has never been stressful from. The angle of the artist. Okay. It might just be executing the project. The project. Itself. Like when we were shooting Totori. Okay. Wizzy actually, Olamide actually hit me up for the video the day of the shoot. What? Like by 2 p.m. For and real? Shot by like 8 p.m. Okay. Oh yeah, Totori me one time. Totori me two time. Totori me three time. Totori Wow. Yeah, wait, wait, say that again. You were, they told you about the shoot, shoot by the day? By 2 p.m. 2 p.m. I listened to the song for the first time that day. I was shot by like 8 p.m. It was like the craziest day of my life. Amazing. Do you understand? So these are some challenges I've faced, but if I can overcome this, I feel like, yo, every other thing can be hmm. overcome. So hmm. you get, so it's... it's so let me just throw this in. So how did you put your team together in the space of two I think I have eight. a fantastic team. Yeah, but my team is not that big. It's just like a four-man team or a three-man team. Every other person is a standard. Mm -hmm. My technical director, um, mm -hmm. Abazi mm -hmm. Production, he's in charge of. He has one of the biggest rental houses in Nigeria. He's okay. like, like a friend to me. If even if I call by one a.m., like, yo, he's ready to work. You got a shirt. <laughs> yeah, he's that kind of person. Yeah, you get. So Bye. he 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 put me up with equipment, everything mm -hmm. immediately. He was like, don't worry, we're going to make it happen. Because, you know, if you have to rent equipment in Nigeria, you have to book up front, like book seven ahead. days. Yeah. But, book yo, ahead. I was lucky to have people like that in my team. He made it happen. All hands were on deck. I told my producer, I gave me like 50 extras, gave me your marks. I don't have to be on marks. I went to the location and had to pay double to make sure that it was, it was crazy. But even, and when Wizzy, when Wizzy came on set, he had to follow me that day and hit me up like, yo, bro. <laughs> that was <laughs> yeah. good. <laughs> and nobody, I don't think most of them knew that I had to put everything that happened that day, that day. In a matter of hours. In a matter of just four hours. Amazing. Amazing. <coughs> Man, yeah. for people who, you know, want to be part, do this that you do. Did you like uh, get a professional course on this or how did you learn it? Okay, um, actually I went to, I went to Pencils, that's Pepsi Film School, okay. to do performing arts, not even 
cinematography and okay. directing because I always wanted to be an actor, a stage actor. Oh, nice. So I was on stage doing my thing. Then, then, life of an actor's. Hunger one choke. Hunger one in his voice. <laughs> Then I started looking for, but I love the, I love the scene. I love the filmmaking thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go away from it. I was mm -hmm. like, I bet we the collect money pass for this thing. <laughs> they <laughs> can go that director. time. I said, okay, no, director, director shall be. Do. <laughs> yeah, but I, I do, I direct stage plays. Okay. I already had, I already had, I was already on the line of art itself. Okay. So the only thing I had to learn from directing or from having my own, team of video make creation is mm -hmm. how to handle cameras. Okay. So I had to teach myself YouTube tutorials and everything. Mm. I already have the creativity in me. So it was just me understanding the camera and understanding how to edit. So I just I just took out some time in my life and learned to do that. So when wow. I was ready, I started attacking. <laughs> mm. And looking at it, you probably learn on the job yeah, every, every time. day. Every exactly. Day, like the first day. time I shot with the red Dragon, I had to pay someone so much to come and be with me just in case I go and press for Let me just bring it back to yeah, the yeah, answer. So I had an assistant, it. but I figured that it was even easier than I thought. Mm. The person just came and sat down and collected his money. his money. Man, if you can find a way out to yourself, oh my guy, run now. Ah, <laughs> man. Because it's crazy out here. I can't even lie, man. It's good. It's, it's, it's been nice talking to you, TJ. It's amazing stuff. And gotcha. the good thing is that. People out there have come to understand, you know, the idea behind what mm -hmm. you do and know that they can also try if they put their mind to it. To it. And the good thing that I would want them to take home is that you said you always need to, you know, see what people are doing and do something different. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can stand out. Right. Glenn, bye -bye. Nice one. Nice yeah. talking to you guys. Yeah. Guys, yeah. that's what we call it wraps on Mac stories. And like I said, next time we bring you something more exceptional. But today, I'm sure you learned something. Yeah. See you guys, same time. All right? Peace out. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.